All right, it is Viking seven round mock draft time. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lopagus show. I'm One Bar of Lopagus, and is uh, we haven't done a seven rounder. It's probably been a good ten days or so. It's time. It's combine time, and it's time to rip out a seven rounder. And and why not do it now? I mean, things are going to change here in about a week from now. But right now, let's just take one final look at the rankings pre pre combine, and let's do a mock and make this Viking squad a little bit better than it is today. As always, comments. We want to see where we missed where. You would have went elsewhere, and as always, subscribe to the channel. Let's get to six thousand subs. We're almost, we're almost at fifty eight hundred. Yeah, it's like eight hundred. It's just a pube over two hundred, and uh, let's shave that pube. Let's get under two hundred. Nothing better than that. Let's do this. We are using Draft Networks, and uh, Lupagus has the honors. We're going to rotate picks, and uh, we're going to go from there. We and we will rip on each other's picks if if it's necessary. Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Are you, are you ready? I'm ready. I was born ready. Let's do it. Evan Neal going number one. Woo. I still can't believe how skinny he is. Malik Willis. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. We got two quarterbacks in the top 11. Wow. Charles Cross, Jermaine Johnson. So I love this because it gives you some very, very good options. Yeah. And, you know, here's the options. I know Trayvon Walker is getting all his love right now, but I'm just not sold yet, to be honest with you. David Ojabo, you know me. I do love me some David Ojabo. Linderbaum's there. Kenyon Green, another guy makes a lot of sense for the Vikings, but I'm sorry. I know this is vanilla. This is missionary. But I cannot pass that Sauce Gardner at pick eight. All right, he's eighth overall, pick 12. But here's the thing, and the big reason, is I think we can get our edge rusher in the second round. I really do. I think there's going to be options there, so I'm going Sauce Gardner. And I expect him to have a great workout here at Indy, too. Hey, don't do not apologize for going vanilla here. If Sauce Gardner is there and he's going to be an impactful player every damn time, you have to take Sauce Gardner. And you're right, an edge rusher, there's going to be a run of them. Oh, my God. And uh, I see one staring at me right now. And speaking of, we might have to take two scoops of vanilla ice cream because if Sauce Gardner is there, you take him. And if Boye Mafe is there in round two, you take him, and you take him hard as a rock because there is yeah. no other option. Um, but I will at least look. I mean, Jalen Petrie. Yeah, I love Jalen Petrie. Uh, what else? Logan Hall. I'm, I'm actually warming up on Logan Hall quite a bit. He can play multiple spots along the defensive line. Sam Howell, I will be honest. Sam Howell in round two, he's not the most dynamic guy, the most exciting guy. But if he's there and other guys aren't, I'm all for Sam Howell. And I, you know, I see Carson Strong a few picks down the road too. I like him very, very much as well. Um, so you could definitely go the quarterback route. And, and with the new regime, they're going to want to get their guy at some point. So it's not a old question, but to me, I just don't see how you pass him, boy, Mafia here. If we get a, a starting cornerback in round one and yeah. an edge rusher, we can throw in that three four. Hell yes, we are in an A plus right now. If anybody disagrees with that, you are nuts. I will slap you in the face if you disagree. Oh my god! All right, round three. Yeah, let's what, see what, what, we got. What, what, what are we sniffing around? What what position are you looking at? I don't know. This one's kind of wide open to me. Safety, linebacker, tight end. Uh, oh, there you go. Interior offensive line. You got Darian Beavers there. Yeah, and Damone Clark. He was a he was a favorite of our uh, mock. We did one. Uh, on yeah, our live show. Any, any position you want me to look at here? Um, who's there at safety right now? Anybody sexy? Kirby Joseph. Yeah, he's good. He's good. What we got for uh, interior offensive line. Uh, but there's that Ed guy. I've heard some good things about Ed Ingram, so I, he's kind of getting my attention right now. What else we got? We go to overall. There you go. Sky Moore, the hot wide receiver. Drake Jackson, good value, but we did, did already get Boye Mafia. <laughs> we did. We did. And we have, uh, we do have DJ Wanham as well. So we're pretty set there. And Daniel Hunter. Oh, I know. I was, I, I'm thinking DJ Wanham, Boye Mafia would be one side. Keep going down a little bit, a little Nick bit slower. Benito. 
Oh. I love I love the fact that even if we do not get an edge rusher in the first two rounds, there's going to be guys like Benito in round three, Drake Jack. I mean, there's going to be some guys there. I love it. Are you afraid that Benito might turn into a melted candle like Benito Santiago did? No, I am not worried about that one damn bit. <laughs> All right. uh, screw it. You know what? I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. This may be, maybe this is a reach. I'm trying a little bit different. I'm going to go with Ed Ingram, the offensive, the guard. Ed Ingram, LSU. Let's do it. Let's, let's strengthen the tier of this whole line. Let's go Ed Ingram. Hell yeah. yeah. Right guard. He's our starter. I'm going to say that's a little bit of a reach. Uh, but you know, I, I don't disagree argue, with you there. I'm not going to argue too much. Uh, it seems like when you get to like the end of round three, round four, round five, those interior offensive linemen, they're still on the board. They just don't come off. I'm not going to lie. This guy more was very tempting there. Now we got to wait till round five because we got. Yeah, this is going to be painful. Herman. This is going to be this is going to be a gross pick. I apologize ahead of time. I'll probably have two Bloody Marys that day in the draft, and I'll be wasted by the time we actually make our our first pick on day three. Ah, uh, you never know. Quasi might be might be looking to wheel and deal. Oh God. Oh, I see one guy I do like. Where I just Munford. I'm, I'm a Thayer Munford guy. I know, and Cole Strange, but we just hit the interior of the old line. <sighs> Man, what was I thinking? Yeah, you uh, you did well. You did well. Safety wise, not oh, much see. value here. I'm passing on safeties. I do want to take a quick peek at tight ends. Okay, Johnny, oh, that's, that's your guy blowing up the combine right now. He is blowing it up. Yeah, but I could also see him definitely still being there. Oof. Um, what are, we got one fifty. Oh, I'm gonna look at uh, cornerbacks. Cornerbacks, quick. Ah. I'm sorry. This is a new regime. I don't care. I'm I'm double dipping at the interior offensive line. <laughs> wow. And uh, I'm gonna go with Cole Strange from Chattanooga. I mean, he's a uh, he's he's a small schooler. He's damn good. Has played a ton of games. And uh, I'm I'm going with it. We we have to get that interior offensive line. Solidified. I know we have Wyatt Davis, and I know you just drafted a guy, but this just helps me helps me sleep at night. No, well, no, it's not gonna help me sleep at night. Is you pass on Jelani Woods, who could be a freaking perennial All I'm not, Pro, I'm not, All I'm Pro Zach Davidson. I'm still on board until he fun. just if he if he absolutely sucks this preseason, I'll jump off. But I'm giving him one more chance. <laughs> I'm not giving. Zach Davidson, I gave him a chance until I saw him in the preseason last year. He, this dude just can't catch the football. No, it's fair. It's so fair. I'm, I'm done. A minority here. I am done. So let's go look at let's look at linebacker here. This is round six. What pick are we on? One eighty. Round six. Mike McFadden. I I really like Mike, Mike Rose. I like as well. I like Ellis Brooks. Will you go to safety too? Hmm. Bubba Bolden, there's your boy. I know. <laughs> he's, he's gonna be undrafted. I think, way. yeah, there's a good chance. I love a lot of undrafted guys. All right, uh, how about D tackle? Any, any big nose tackles on the board? Yeah, we've definitely neglected Thomas Booker. I like Thomas Booker. Chris Hinton, my boy. <laughs> he's ranked two forty. Uh, you know what? I gotta be honest with me, uh, with you. He, you kind of sold me on Chris Hinton the other day in our, our little uh, video we did. So you know what? Screw it. Let's take let's take the big old guy. Let's take Chris Hinton. Why not? Chris Hinton, where is he? He's way down there. You gotta go de tackle to find him. But let's not. You know, here's the thing, though. This happens all the time. I mean, the, you take guys who are way. Uh, you see the Vikings. You see all teams do it. Take guys. You're like, who the hell are they taking? Uh, on day three of the draft, especially round five, six, seven. So this is definitely not all the realm of possibility. And a guy who does fill a need for the Vikings. Yeah, and Chris Hinton, he's like you said, he's not that sexy guy that's going to make splashy moves. He's going to do some of that dirty work. He is a space eater. So uh, I love me some Chris Hinton. I'm going to actually go Mike Rose, Iowa State yeah. linebacker. We need some linebackers. He is a uh, – he is a – just does the dirty work, kind of like Chris Hinton. So Mike Rose – very good special teamer as well. I mean, that is his – I don't want to say it's his ceiling, but it probably is. And uh, we need some special teamers on this team. So, Mike Rose, come on home. Let's do it. Let's do it. Is this our last pick now? Or we got 
Uh, let's see. We're still in round six. So, all right, round six, pick two hundred six. We got for tight ends. It's gonna be it's gonna be slim to gross. Yeah, screw. It. I know who I'm I, taking. Go, but go back to safety. I'm taking Yusef Corker. No doubt in my mind. Who? Yusef Corker. Oh, <laughs> bingo, bingo. Pass it on Smoke Monday and Bubba Bolden. I'm taking Yusef Corker. Hell yeah! It's I mean, easy. so far this has been uh, this is. I'm not. I'm not upset one bit about how it's shaking out. Very top heavy. Some good depth. Final pick, right? I, I think so. I, I do believe it is. Is Jack Cohn still on the board? Oh, Billy is happy no, still on the board. It's don't 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 blow my load here. Uh, I gotta be honest, Luke Fortner. I know we already took took two guards. Luke Fortner is a guard and a center. I love that about him, and he should hey, not he, what? When will it be enough for you? Well, I mean, he shouldn't be on the board right now. Value. Value. Luke Fortner. I love the fact that he could be a center. But I'm anticipating we re-sign Mason Cole, so I'm not doing it. I am actually I – mean, if Bailey Zappi is there in round seven. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't care if his ceiling is is a decent backup quarterback. Bailey Zappi threw for 9,000 touchdowns this year. Bailey Zappi is my pick, and I'm not thinking twice. Yeah. Bailey I, Zappi, come on home, baby. I expect him to be on the board in round four or five. I, I, I'm going to say five. I would five. be shocked if he's on the board in round seven. That's All right. a steal. Well, we're going to let this wrap up, and then we're going to take a Oh, my God. The Rams got a steal. Both All right. Golden. So let's look at our draft here. We got Gardner, round one, Boye Mafe, Ed Ingram, uh, Cole Strange, Hinton, Rose. I mean, I I honestly, I, I'm, I'm satisfied after the first two picks. Everything else is just freaking, I mean, it's just butter. So... Ed Ingram, I, I do think he's probably comes in. He's probably start. Luke Strange, a guy I'm very, very high on as well. So you got your interior line pretty well set. You got your biggest issues on defense uh, very much upgraded here. So this, those three picks alone, to me, this is a very solid draft. It is. Uh, cornerback probably could have been double dipped on. Um, the value probably wasn't there. Um, I I mean, we, we opted to double dip. I opted double dip on the interior offensive line and I'm, I'm sticking to it, but cornerback, we probably neg neglected that a little bit. And yeah, I mean, we, we, we probably did. We didn't really get a tight end, which I think the Vikings will draft at some point. Exactly. You, you went O line twice over uh, Jelani woods and I will, I, I will be up in your face all over both that for the years to come. But uh, again, most needs are met here and I'm, I'm, I'd be pretty happy with this draft. This is how it panned out. All right, let us know your grade in the comments where you would have went different. Let us know. We'd love, love to see it. And also, let us know what you think about this. Sharks don't have a urinary tract. They pee through their skin. Gross.